In this lecture we're going to be looking at growth factors and receptors and we're going to be looking at these um, the pathways driven by growth factors and receptors in the context of cancers and how these signaling pathways can be disrupted and can lead to uncontrolled cell growth and proliferation. So in some ways Cancer can be thought of as a disease of uncontrolled cell proliferation. So we've got cells that are growing at a faster rate than their neighboring cells. And in the previous lectures, we've been looking at some of the characteristics of these cancer cells. And we've been discussing the multi-hit hypothesis that there's been um, multiple genetic changes within a cell or a colony of cells and how those genetic changes have given the cells a growth advantage. We've also discussed oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes which are the proteins that are often mutated in cancer cells and these oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes often play a role in pathways that regulate cell growth. So in this lecture, we're going to be looking at some of those or the, the, the background information to one of those pathways that regulate cell growth. This slide is basically saying that um, cancer is a disease of uncontrolled cell proliferation, meaning that um, the, 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 um, the machinery of, that controls growth in normal cells is perturbed in cancers. So it's almost the same, but it's been tweaked. And these tweaks to these normal growth pathways are what give cells a growth advantage. So I've shown this slide before, and I don't need to get overwhelmed by it. So, but what we're looking at now are growth pathways, signaling pathways. And signaling pathways such as these shown here, typically begin at um, a, a ligand or a signaling molecule binding to something at the receptor and then this receptor molecule transducing that signal through the cytosol with adapters and enzymes to form these signaling cascades that turn on transcription. So rather than looking at this kind of slide with lots of pathways shown simultaneously, let's just start to focus on one pathway, one linear pathway that extends from a, a growth signal binding to a receptor leading to a bunch of things being activated in the cytosol leading to gene activation. So let's just consider one of these important signaling pathways that's important in cancer. So um, I'll be talking about growth factors and receptors. Um, receptors are these protein molecules that are um, located and um, functional at the cell surface. So on the plasma membrane, these molecules transverse the plasma membrane, they detect a signal outside of the cell, and they transduce it to a signal inside the cell, which then triggers things in the cytoplasm which, which trigger the cell to undergo a round of replicative growth. And typically, when you trigger signaling in the cytoplasm, it leads to, um, to, uh, to activating gene expression. So the signaling can immediately trigger proteins to be turned on in the cytoplasm, and it can also trigger the um, activation of gene expression in the nucleus. So the question is, how does this signaling occur? So, um, and, and this is just a, a quick discussion now on how do you visualize the insides of a cell and what's happening in a cell and, and how does signaling occur within a cell? So just in very general terms, a single cell may express up to 20,000 or more distinct proteins. So 
a lot of genes have been turned on at different levels to give different levels of protein in a cytoplasm. So one way of thinking about a cell, it's like a, it's like this bag of thick soup. So you've got the plasma membrane and inside there you've got a lot of stuff. Okay, And within this thick soup, these proteins need to communicate with um, great specificity. And within that thick soup of proteins that are expressed, you need to get a linear or a, a pathway from particular proteins to other proteins to transmit the signal from the plasma membrane down through to the nucleus. So there are two problems that need to be solved. One, one is a problem of specificity. So we need particular protein-protein interactions to occur in a very specific way. And also it's a question of so, so how do these signals interact with their partners in a timely fashion. And I, I, I find that to, to help me think about how cells function is a good way is to look at the um, molecular art of um, David Goodsell. So I think David Goodsell um, is involved with the protein database, um, PDB, and um, he works, you know, at um, Scripps. Now, um, he has taken a lot of biological data that relates to the levels of expression of things and the relative sizes of these proteins and, and things that are being expressed in cells. And he's tried to visualize it in a way to give you an, an appreciation of, of how busy the inside of a cell may be. So if you've got time, then um, go and have a look at some of his artwork. So what you see here is a plasma membrane with a bunch of receptors embedded transmembrane. Okay, and then you've got signaling molecules coming in, being detected by these receptors, and then these signals are, are transduced through the plasma membrane to activate something. And you can see here there's a lot going on. There's these actin filaments and you know ribosomes and tRNAs, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going in here. And if you follow down into the cytoplasm, then you're coming through here where you've got endoplasmic reticulums and you've got ribosomes synthesizing proteins and then further down into the cell you go into the nucleus where you've got you know um, lots of nucleosomes and transcription and lots of stuff happening here so somewhere within this thick soup that that the that we've been talking about you need to um, have this specific signaling in a timely way to get a signal from outside the cell through down um, to activate things in the cytosol and to activate gene expression. So within the cell we have these signaling cascades and one way of thinking about cancer rather than cancer being you know um, uncontrolled cell growth which it is but another way of thinking about cancer is it's, it's a disease of aberrant signaling so the signaling pathway has gone wrong which lead to uncontrolled growth. So, um, and within these signaling pathways, typically we've got these oncoproteins and tumor suppressor proteins, which um, are normal cellular proteins, which perform a normal function within these signaling cascades. But when they're um, hyperactivated or you lose the function of, of, of them, then these signaling pathways function and um, to, to make cells grow at inappropriate times and at inappropriate rates.